All right, Coach, uh, let's start this off. Congrats on uh, making the Pac-12 All-Century team. A uh, pretty neat honor. Yeah, what an honor. You know, the Pac-12 is the greatest conference in swimming, greatest conference in sports. Uh, it truly is the uh, conference of champions. And I guess by being put on that list, uh, then maybe I upheld the standards of being a champion. That makes me feel proud. And, and uh, wow, what a great list. My buddy Matt Biondi, you know, fully deserves to be the Pac-12 Pac Swimmer of the Century. What a great athlete, great friend, great human being. Uh, and so it was a neat list to, to look at uh, and see all those, some great young swimmers, some great old swimmers. You know, for us old guys, it's kind of fun to put those lists together. Two weeks uh, from the win over Nebraska here at Gibb Pool to close out the home schedule. Now you turn your attention to uh, one last road meet at, at Utah. Talk about the, what's the preparation been like uh, um, getting ready for the last road meet, Pac-12 foe. Yeah, right, Pac-12, let's swim, right? I mean, that's what we're here for. We want to compete. We want to compete against anybody in the Pac-12. We do, and we bring it, and we bring it as good as we can. And uh, we'll find out, you know, it's a big Saturday. It's obviously we got conference coming up, but uh, in our focus for sure, uh, like every Pac-12 team is on conference. But if we have that chance to race, we're going to race, and, and we're looking forward to it. Uh, talk about the focus of the team, or just the, how's the team been swimming in general? You know, heading a couple weeks from Pac-12s, so maybe a little bit long term down the road. Oh, I think they're pretty focused. I think they're getting all their schools settled. You know, these guys, we uh, we have a plan, and we're on a plan, and we have a system. And, and so now they're in a situation where they're trying to take care of their bodies, take care of their school, so that they can have a clean slate going into the conference. And so that's kind of where we are right now. We give them a little time to get everything set up with school. We're working on some great, we've had some great sets lately. Obviously, why we do that all year. We don't, we don't back off. Uh, we train pretty hard from day one to day 144, and uh, my athletes like that. They enjoy that. They're tough, tough swimmers, and I, I'm proud to be their coach. And then uh, finally, you know, Presley Wetterstrom and Jasmine Margetts have been doing it all year, but the last month, the last uh, last two meets, Oregon State and Nebraska, Addison Birch kind of erupted, I guess. So talk about the progress of her and, and where she's at right now. Well, well, she's a great swimmer. She's a great swimmer from right up here in Spokane, and we are so fortunate to have her on our team representing Washington State. Uh, it all works together, right? I mean, my athletes understand they're on a team. Even though swimming is an individual sport, my athletes are on this team. And so Addie steps up uh, for herself, but I think also for the team, just like Presley and, and just like Jasmine and up and down the list. And I mean, we every, every class, every swimmer swims for the team, for Washington State. And uh, that's important, and that's why we do well. Thanks, Coach. Go Cougs.